These days, it is, mm -hmm. if you look, a little bit easier to find information about how many carbs or how much protein yeah. is, in, is in any product. Not everybody has to do that, though. But if, you, if you're if you living with diabetes, it, it would be helpful to, to be more educated about how much about what's exactly in the food you're eating. Yeah, exactly. I think carb counting and looking at the food uh, nutrition label is very important and not many people would understand how to read the nutrition label. So on top of the nutrition label, there's a serving size that says one cup and then it says um, for the whole container, there's like four servings in the container. So people don't realize that if there's calories, which is like 235, that's for one cup. But if you end up, um, you know, eating the whole container, you had four times the calories that you were thinking that you just consumed. Same is the case with carbohydrates. They'll say 15 grams, but all those numbers are for that one serving, one cup. So if you ended up eating the whole thing, then just multiply 15 with four, and you, you should know that it's a 60 gram carbohydrate that right. you just had. So if you're going to start reading the labels, yeah. Do it right. Do it right. And then there are things that don't have labels, fruits, vegetables. Right. That's hard. So you want to, you know, there are a lot of good apps out there on Apple Store and Google Store that actually has a lot of, um, in, you know, large database. You can just put in, I had two apples and it will show you the calories, the carbohydrates that you consumed.